China's aerospace ambitions have reached new heights with the development of its supersonic passenger aircraft, the Yunqing, which promises to revolutionize air travel by drastically reducing flight times. The aircraft, still in the early stages of development, is designed to take passengers from Beijing to New York in just two hours, cruising at Mach 4, a speed double that of the retired Concorde. However, its striking resemblance to the U.S. State Route 71 Blackbird raises significant questions about its intended purpose, the challenges it faces in commercial operations, and its potential military applications. The Yunqing aircraft's design is built to endure extreme conditions, including high-speed flight and aerodynamic heating, which can raise its surface temperature to over 1,000 degrees Celsius. This resilience is due to the use of lightweight, high-strength composite materials that are crucial for withstanding such harsh environments. In terms of aerodynamics, the Yunqing boasts a high lift-to-drag ratio, ensuring efficiency at high altitudes and enhancing its operational potential. Unlike traditional aircraft, the Yunqing is equipped with vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities, allowing it to bypass the constraints of conventional runways. This feature, coupled with its ability to reach altitudes above 20,000 meters, suggests that the aircraft could operate from smaller urban airports. Animations released by the Chinese aerospace company, Space Transportation, depict the Yunqing being launched with booster rockets, gliding at high speeds, and decelerating before landing vertically, akin to space vehicles. This capability introduces a new dimension to commercial aviation, promising to reduce flight times and potentially transform air travel logistics. Founded in 2018, Space Transportation, also known as Lingkong Tianqing Technology, operates across multiple locations in China, including Beijing, Xi'an, and Anhui. The company collaborates with universities and research institutions, contributing to high-profile aerospace projects such as the Feitian-1 hypersonic vehicle in 2022. While the company's focus is primarily on developing supersonic passenger aircraft, it is also involved in suborbital space tourism platforms and hypersonic vehicles for military and research purposes. Analysts have speculated that these passenger-focused projects could be a cover for military applications. This hypothesis is supported by the advanced aerospace technologies integrated into the Yunqing, which combine high efficiency, thermal protection, and precise control systems. The potential for the Yunqing to serve as a high-speed reconnaissance platform or as a vehicle for anti-satellite weaponry remains a point of intrigue. China's history of rapid advancements in surveillance and defense technologies only adds to these concerns. The Yunqing's sleek, pointed nose and twin-engine configuration are reminiscent of the State Route 71 Blackbird, a legendary reconnaissance aircraft that was retired in 1998. The Blackbird's high-speed and high-altitude capabilities set a new standard for military aircraft, and China has made significant strides toward developing similar technologies. One example is the WZ-8, a high-speed, high-altitude unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, used for reconnaissance, launched from an H-6 bomber. The WZ-8's performance, reaching speeds in excess of Mach 3, compares closely to that of the State Route 71. Moreover, China has invested heavily in hypersonic technologies, with the development of vehicles such as the DFCF hypersonic glide vehicle, which can achieve speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10. The DFZF is capable of evasive maneuvers during flight, further demonstrating China's commitment to advancing its aerospace and military capabilities. At the China Airshow in Zhuhai, 2024, the GDF-600 hypersonic glide vehicle was unveiled, capable of reaching Mach 7 and carrying multiple payloads, including drones and unmanned aerial systems. These technologies share a clear lineage with the high-speed capabilities of the State Route 71. Additionally, China's growing anti-satellite capabilities, such as the HQ-19 anti-ballistic missile interceptor, suggest that the Yunqing could play a role in future warfare scenarios, potentially being adapted to launch kinetic kill vehicles, KKVs, for disabling enemy satellites in low Earth orbit. While China advances its own hypersonic and supersonic technologies, the U.S. is not standing still. Lockheed Martin continues work on the State Route 72, the hypersonic successor to the State Route 71, with a planned operational debut around 2030. The State Route 72 will be capable of speeds up to Mach 6, twice the speed of the State Route 71, and is expected to serve as both a reconnaissance and strike platform. This program, however, has faced significant budget overruns, with reports of a $45 million deficit in the second quarter of 2024 alone, bringing total losses to $335 million since 2022. Despite these financial challenges, Lockheed Martin remains committed to advancing the State Route 72, 
with the expansion of its Skunk Works facility in California and investments in advanced manufacturing techniques like 3D printing. Moreover, NASA's X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology Aircraft, currently under development, is expected to provide valuable insights into the noise impact of supersonic flight, which could inform both commercial and military aviation strategies. These advancements, along with those made by China, illustrate the global race toward mastering high-speed, high-altitude flight. The development of supersonic and hypersonic technologies, as exemplified by China's Yunqing and the U.S. State Route 72, has far-reaching implications not only for commercial aviation but also for military strategy. The Yunqing's potential for vertical takeoff and its advanced aerodynamic features suggest a future where traditional flight paths are disrupted, and new types of missions, ranging from reconnaissance to warfare, are possible. China's continued advancements in hypersonic technology, paired with its anti-satellite capabilities, indicate that the Yunqing may one day serve as a strategic asset in both commercial aviation and military operations. The dual-use potential of such aircraft poses a challenge for international regulations and defense strategies, as these high-speed platforms blur the lines between civilian and military applications. In conclusion, as the race to develop supersonic and hypersonic aircraft heats up, the Yunqing and its American counterparts like the State Route 72 represent the cutting edge of aerospace innovation. These developments could reshape the future of air travel and military operations, underscoring the growing convergence between aerospace advancements and national security concerns.